So first of all, why should science care? It's because 70% of people around the world believe that to be a scientist is to be a man. So basically, this is uh, not just uh, in a developed world, but also in a developing world. Uh, the second is that cultures, cultures impact on how people are judged even by scientists. So there was a study in the United States where they have given a application for a job to women and men uh, professors and they asked them to assess the applicant for a job. Both women and men professors prefer to employ the men. They also offered the men $4,000 more in salary and mentoring support. So this is something that uh, we should be aware because scientists are trained to be objective and rational, but actually they are not. So, and we can't just blame men for it. We actually have to look at that, how society influence the way that science is done. El programa de Girl Power Code Fest nace a partir de la necesidad que encontramos de estrechar la brecha que existe entre las niñas y las carreras relacionadas a ciencia y tecnología. Mi hija le ha encantado desde el principio, le ha gustado mucho, no quería faltar ni un sábado. Ella dice que ahora, de grande, quiere meterse en eso, investigar en cuanto a eso, la tecnología, todas esas cosas. Le ha gustado muchísimo y me, me gusta eso. What is mentoring? So for me, it's it's this relationship that's professional, where you have an experienced person um, who assists another in developing specific skills and knowledge. So a mentor um, is a guide, someone who can who can help the mentee to find the right direction in their career. Um, and help them to develop solutions for their career and their life. But it's a help and a support, and it has to be mentor. The mentor is there with the experience, and they have to be this equal commitment. So it's a different relationship to being a boss or a leader of a team. It is a, it's a two-way relationship, but the, the, your, a mentor is there to support and to be a guide, but it has to be led by and has to be a commitment from the mentee. I think that there are some attributes in the both the sides of the mentoring relationship, some attributes that are shared, um, some personal tra traits, and some that are different. There are different skills to be employed. But as far as the mentors are concerned, um, there are lots of attributes that we might think of. There are the, attribute, the attributes that things mentors should be and skills that they should have.